everybody welcome to the Waldock way i'm jessica and today's video is going to be a look inside our brand new what was unit studies these unit studies are based on the what was books we already have some who was unit studies they have become very popular and y'all have been asking for years when we were going to branch off into the what was it's something we've wanted to do we just wanted to make sure we were doing it right and we have finally found a way to do that so we are so excited to be sharing these with you guys we are releasing some of them we will be adding to them so make sure you check back frequently now let's go ahead and jump in and look at what one of the what was unit studies includes Today we are going to be looking inside the what was the Boston Tea Party mini unit study. So every one of them will be set up very similarly. This is uh, the cover page. Then we have our popular unit study page. Everything you see here is linked. So we have supplemental books, a YouTube playlist and a Pinterest board with links as well as QR codes to make it easier, um, shows or videos, games that would go well with this, and then additional resources that could be biographies for kids, fun facts for kids, quizzes for kids, just anything extra that would be fun. Again, like I said, all of these are clickable links. Then we have a custom coloring page. Copy work in different levels. So we have print tracing here for your littlest kid. Print copy work and cursive copy work. Then we have kind of a research and recap. So what was the Boston Tea Party? Draw a picture and write a summary of it. So kind of a notebooking page, if you will. Then we have some map work. Now each one will include a map. This one obviously is a United States of America map. Depending on what it was that happened, it could also be a world map. Um, and we're going to map it. So there's a fact up here, like on December 16th, 1773, a group of colonists destroyed a large British tea shipment in the British Harbor. So they would color that area. Activity pages such as a word search that also includes an answer key. Crossword puzzle to test some of that knowledge. It also includes an answer key timeline of the Boston Tea Party. So if you didn't want to use the timeline game, which I will show you in just a moment, you could just come to the timeline of the Boston Tea Party in the back of the book and have your child record that. They could either do it straight from the book as copy work, or they could try to do it from memory, what they remember of it. You could have them do it while you read aloud as well. Then we have the trivia card game. It looks like this. When you have them printed and cut out, it could look like this. I've also, um, over the years, printed them on different color paper just to make it more fun, like Astro Brights. Um, it's basically just questions that were pulled from the book itself. So, for example, what was Liberty Tea? And that was homemade tea made from sage or raspberry leaves. What would the Sons of Liberty occasionally do at Liberty Tree, at the Liberty Tree? And that was the Hang the Dummy Tax Collector. So just some questions that are pulled directly from the book. Um, we like to play it like a game. So we will sit around and ask the questions. And if you get them correct, you get to keep the card. And whoever has the most trivia cards at the end wins. You could play that however you wanted in your household. It could just be a way to quiz your kids after they've already read the book if you didn't want to do it as a game. Then we have the timeline matching game. So this can be played multiple different ways too. Here's an example of what it will look like. But then once you have them printed and cut out, and again, you can print this on color paper if you wanted, your options for playing are kind of limitless. You can play it as a memory game where you would flip all of the cards over and then try to turn the date and the thing that happened on that date over for a match. You could also lay all of the cards out like this in a timeline. We like to do it in the floor so that it's like a life-size timeline. And then you could call out the events and have your child try to match them to the date that it happened. 
and basically, like I said, create a life-size timeline. So there's multiple different ways that you can use those for a game as well.